Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so I changed my mind on this whole satellite network thing and I ended up reducing a lot of the frame rate by just simply decoupling all this stuff and bringing this nice simple module over. Uh, the overall didn't have any problems in getting into orbit. This was one of the first things that we got into orbit other than the fuel depot which I ended up putting in this suitable orbit which it's about 200 off the surface. Amazing stuff. Now it's time for the satellite network. I am not going to set up all of the satellite network on camera but I will be doing a pretty good portion of it. Um, I already lined up the orbit pretty well. It's I, I just kind of chose an arbitrary orbit, which it's basically zeroed out with Ike. So that I figured that would be the best way to zero it out with Ike, with the refueler and all that other good stuff. Um, I was wondering what that was. Yeah, there, there's the fuel depot right there in all its glory. So, I have to kind of apologize because I didn't intend on something happening that happened. Now, this is going to get a little screwed up, but what can we do? So, I will be decoupling this here. I will see you later, Mr. Probe. And uh, then we'll be doing one orbit around... Basically, just to get away from the thing and uh, let it kind of continue on its orbit. And then once we come back around, basically on the same exact plane, I will be doing a 45. I will be burning until we hit 45 degrees. So I'm just going to leave this on like warp 5. That should be good. I'll just call that warp 5 for now. Um, actually, I'll just, you know, whatever. Screw it. Let's see. So, um, the thing I have to apologize for, and I kind of just went off on a tangent there. Uh, what ended up happening is I ended up leaving for the weekend. And I went up to visit my girlfriends and... I figured I would have some videos done and then I would be able to release them while I'm up there and basically, you know, I brought my laptop with me, I was like fully prepared uh, with everything and what ended up basically happening is the last video, which is my 200th finale episode and all that good stuff of getting all this crap to Duna. Uh, yeah, it took a lot longer than I expected. That's all I'm going to say. And I ended up basically spending the entire night shooting that one video. I basically played for about 10 hours, give or take. And yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say. 10 hours of Kerbal is a lot of Kerbal. That's all I'm going to say, guys. I really was kind of just out of it after that. I really didn't want anything to do with the game afterwards. I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm done for now at least. And, uh, you know, you guys heard me at the end of the video. I was just, you could even hear it in my voice. I'm just like, oh my god, what am I doing? But it was, it was pretty intense. I planned on having at least like a few episodes like at least trying to come out at that time but there was only so much I could do and I really apologize for that so I already lined up our first orbit here we're gonna do a burn to get to 45 degrees I will be releasing my first probe from there this thing is gonna get a little wobbly as well I should mention it really doesn't like the fact that uh, when you're flying this thing, I mean, it, it's off-center a little bit just because of the fact that it doesn't have the probe there that it should. And there's really no other way I could really solve that problem. So, other than stacking them, but I don't like that idea. It would make the satellite look a little bit different, and I just didn't like that idea from the beginning. When I first designed this initial module, I just didn't like that idea. 
So let's start our burn here. I really hope that we're burning the right way, which it really doesn't look like we're burning that right way that we need to be going. So control from here. Nope, that's not working. Control from here. Yeah, there we go. See, that, this is the amazing stuff that happens in this game, guys. That Things that happen that I literally have no control over that are just wanting to drive you nuts. So, let's see. Oh, my God. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, this thing is freaking out. All right. Slow down. We're just going to have to do this burn a little bit slower. That way, we can maintain some control over this thing. We do have an adequate amount of RCS fuel, but I just don't really want to rely on RCS to keep us stable. So that is kind of... Ooh, that's not going to be good. The one thing I'm going to mention is that I am not going to actually get these things into perfect orbits. I'm going to try to hit the 45 degrees, but I will not be like you know, rounding off their orbits and making them absolutely perfect this episode, just because uh, I want to save you guys a lot of time, along with, um, it's just, uh, you know, I noticed you guys didn't really care so much. I did do, like, how to satellite, uh, well, how to set up a satellite network style video, and, I, I mean, I know it's not really the most exciting thing, and that is kind of where I leave off with that. So I'll be setting up all four of these in a row. Uh, hopefully the fuel doesn't run out. I know we don't have exactly the most amount of fuel, but I think we should be okay. That I, you know, I, I keep telling myself that with just about everything in this game. So, but I really think we'll be all right. I, you know, we're not even like at half fuel right now, but still really, really really curious as to you know whether or not this is going to really fall together as nicely as I hope I, I, I plan on keeping this back module and uh, using it for something I, I don't know yet but I will be using it for something that is uh, you know once again if I can keep it so I, I have a few plans with it I don't know if everything's gonna work out a hundred percent there are a few extra things I brought. I brought an, a backup set of basically the solar array just in case something happens. I, a few people may have noticed that already. I don't know 100%, but that was one thing I just wanted to bring because I didn't feel 100% secure that the one that I brought would make it to the surface and everything else. And I just want to, you know, I don't want to end up you know basically doing all this and I have a destroyed panel and that would just kinda suck so we have reached our 45 degree orbits and we will be dumping the satellite here uh, I will be doing a lot of the lining up uh, eventually I, I might not do it at the end of this episode but I definitely will be lining them all up off camera and when I say that too I'm talking about just everything, the the orbits on the like you know the second pass that we make, it might not be a hundred percent perfect, so I might end up you know just fixing some of that stuff later. So we'll get rid of this guy here. See ya. There we go. So now we got some symmetry back, which should be kind of good. I mean, I really hope we don't have to worry about very much. So we're going to do one orbit around, and I'll drop off that third one at the 90. That thing is just flying away. Now, once again, this satellite network isn't going to be 100% perfect. I think I've stated this on every one of my satellite network setups. It's just, um, you know, it's not going to be 100% perfect. There are, you know, some flaws with it. It's not going to be synchronized. It's not It's not the best way to go about setting up a satellite network. It definitely works, but I am going to say that right now that, you know, we could potentially do it a little bit better, but I don't have any mods or any of that kind of stuff to really 
help set up. So that's kind of the main problem with all of that. I should line up... Actually, you know, I'm going to line up with this one because this one's going to be perfect and this one might have changed. So that will make things a little bit easier. So we need to get this at 90, I believe. Let's see what the orbit is at. Ooh, that, yeah, I, I keep changing the orbit. That's not good. Bring this back out a little bit. There we go. But I definitely was uh, really, really busy this weekend with, you know, just traveling. I went to Rhode Island. For those of you uh, who are living in Rhode Island, I don't know how you do it. Because the roads there are not something I really enjoyed in any kind of way. Um, I, being from New York and, you know, driving through most of the Midwest states, I am a lot, I am more used to the way things were there along with New York and you guys do not follow any of these kind of things in any kind of way so that just um, made me a little angry that's all that's all I'm gonna say um, you know getting off at an exit that has an A B and C and every single one of them takes you to a different location um, no just no I, I not okay with this in any kind of way so let's see, I'm having a little bit of problems getting this set up right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now the orbit might be a little bit low, it might be a little shallow, it might be a little bit above. I'm pretty much okay with however it's going to be set up, at least for now. Only because I will be fixing all of that stuff on the satellites themselves which are equipped with ion engines so I'm not so concerned with any of that stuff at least yet so I think I'm gonna slow it down here that seems pretty reasonable uh, I'm pretty happy with the fact that you know we do have a little bit of symmetry the one thing I was um, considering is putting fuel tanks on the outside and basically just emptying a little bit of fuel into those tanks in order to kind of offset for the fact that there is no fuel or, or any weight in the front so let's just do this burn here uh, should be pretty good I, I'm a little bit worried about fuel but I think we'll be okay but freaking Duna guys we are at friggin Duna it's absolutely awesome I just am blown away by everything that has made it here and it just seems like this mission unlike a lot of my missions has just fallen together ever so nicely I haven't had a quick save off camera I haven't had to do very much of anything which is not very normal I mean there are times where things just kind of work and I'm very much okay with those times but uh, yeah, just everything's perfect. Now, I'm trying to kind of replicate what we have in orbit around Duna. For the, I mean, uh, Kerbin a little bit. You know, with the satellite networks. With just about everything. Because I think it will be the best if we do it that way. Um, the space stations and... All that stuff that we got here, you know, I wanted to put the fuel depot at 200,000. Everything just kind of at like a really kind of decent altitude that just works out for everything. One thing I was thinking to reuse this thing for too is if I bring out, I have a, a planned kind of like shuttle possibly to bring out here. Some kind of a, not a plane, but basically just something that can move between Ike and Duna uh, that will be a good thing to have just something to kinda just move stuff around there we go we're almost there just a little bit more come on there we go perfect now this one's at 90 yeah 90 that, that works 
Let's see how far away the other ones are. If I can even see them, I don't even think I can see them from here, or at least from this distance. So we are we are not locked on either with this. Uh, the focus is not on the spacecraft right now. There we go. I don't think we can see any of the other ones right now. I'm I'm okay with this though. I don't really. I'm not so worried about that. Ooh, yeah, this has just been going too well. There's got to be something bad that happens. There always is. So let's actually... I think this one is a little bit further out orbit. Let's see if we can take advantage of the decoupler and try to decouple it retrograde to see if that will kind of push it into a little bit of a better orbit. Now some of these might get knocked out as far as their inclination, but that will be fixed off camera, like I said. Because maneuvering and all that stuff, if, you know, Dalge, not right now, please. Um, maneuvering and most of that stuff, you know, it kind of does mess with up the inclination here and there, but eh, it's not going to be that bad. It, it, let's see. Yeah, see, it brought it down just a little bit. That That's perfect. You can see our first one that we well not the first one but the second one is a little bit out a little bit further out and those will all be fixed it just it's just a matter of time guys that, that's all I'm going to say but these all should be relatively close even right now I mean they they won't be on intercepts where they're gonna hit each other but you know that that's another thing too is I don't want to put them so close that you know I have to be worried that they're gonna be smashing into each other so let's see. All right, I'm going to slow down here, set up our maneuver, and uh, we'll get this last satellite deployed. This should be at 145, I believe. Something like that. Or, wait, no, 90. So, no, this should be at like 120 something. Uh, 125, I believe. 90 plus. 135. That, that doesn't seem right. I, I don't know why. 135. 90 plus 45 is 135. I'm probably completely wrong here. I, I Actually, you know, it does seem like it's, it's right. see how far out we are all right we can bring this down a little bit see the other problem is and I think I've mentioned this before when you're setting up a satellite network and all that stuff when you're using this node it doesn't give you a hundred percent accuracy because as you uh, you know use this part of the node the inclination portion it also affects your orbit and you start getting out you know it starts pushing you out further because you're also kind of burning in that direction as well so you constantly have to fight to bring that portion down and that also affects the inclination as well so let's see we should be close right now as it is just a little bit more 135 perfect so that looks right it doesn't look like anything is off it doesn't look like anything is crooked I think that's good I thought I had my RCS on, so yeah, Rhode Island, amazing stuff. Um, definitely, really wish I don't have to go back again, but I do. Um, but it was it was good. It was you know it was okay. I, I got to see my girlfriend, and you know we spent some time together. We went out to eat, you know, movies, and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. RCS, I'm going to need you. Uh, this is going to have to burn a little bit slower. I don't know how much I can get away with here before it starts really screwing things up. Looks like half, I think, is alright. It can tolerate half. But you know, we went and saw some movies. Uh, we visited a mall that I had to pay just to park. And... Yeah. Editing! That's another thing, too, I should mention. Editing that last video... Um, that was insane. 
Now, just doing everything was pretty insane in one day. Uh, editing it was probably the longest I've ever had to take to edit a video ever. Uh, just absolute crazy. I, I just spent I spent probably about a good hour and 20 minutes editing that. So I really hope you guys liked it. I really guys I hope you guys liked everything. And the feature of the week. I am going to pick up again and just keep the same person from last week, which was Thor LP, because I really didn't release a lot of videos or do anything. So, and then we'll have a new one as scheduled on Saturday. And subscriber submissions video should be out pretty soon. Um, I got a couple of craft and along with something I want to show you guys as well. And, you know, hopefully that will be released somewhat soon. I've been, you know, I, I only have so much time to do all these things. So, yeah, we'll leave it at that. And it looks like we're getting pretty close to our orbit here. I'm going to do rest of this stuff off camera. So, you know, for you guys who haven't, uh, you are new... Um, and for those of you, check out the at the end of the video on the upper right hand corner is the feature of the week, which I feature one person every week. Uh, whoever you are, I'll feature you. If you, if you feel like I should feature somebody, you should just send me a message. If you want to be featured, send me a message. I am more than happy to feature you as long as. As long as there are certain stipulations, as long as you fit in those certain stipulations, I'll be more than happy to feature you. And these stipulations aren't anything serious. So, just let me know, and I'd be more than happy. Oh, God. Let's see. Is that going to fix itself? There we go. Perfect. Just let me know. Uh, there aren't a huge amount of stipulations in, you know, as far as, you know, being featured or anything like that. But, you know, I'll definitely, uh, you know, just shoot me a message and that that's, we'll go from there. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix the rest of this off camera. Uh, you know, thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.